Hello everyone, welcome to this ZB demo session. My name is Alex Poligato and I'm the CTO of Adam. I am with Aurelien, our customer experience manager, who has kindly accepted to be my technical assistant for this demo. Do not hesitate to ask questions in the QA section during the presentation. We will answer at the end. Today, we want to give you some quick demonstration of our new ZB products that we will release in the next few weeks. But first of all, let me introduce you who we are and what we do. Another Foot is a French company who develops and manufactures products for smart buildings. For the past few years, we have developed several kinds of devices, such as remote controllers, sensors, smart plugs, and relay switches. At Nodan, we don't develop our own ecosystem. Our strength is to build hardware. So when we develop a product, we focus on interoperability. We have become a strong player in the Unation world, and now we are coming to conquer Zigbee market. We are now releasing our three best-seller products using the Zigbee protocol. The lighting relay switch, the multifunction relay switch, and the roller filter relay switch. The model is coming a simple package. Nothing fancy here. We wanted to keep it simple, and above all, we wanted to keep it clean. Our module came inside simple packaging, which are 100% made from recyclable paper. We will start this demo with the lighting module switch. For this demonstration, Aurelien will install the module in typical application. While Aurelien is wiring the module, let me explain how it works. The module is considered to be wired directly from your electrical system. You will find two, output, two inputs to connect the files and the neutral wires, two inputs to connect wire switches. Ideally, you can wire it directly behind your existing switch, as we are doing now, and you keep the control of your lights without changing your current switch. Then you have two outputs to control two separate lights. The advantage of this lighting module is to keep your existing installation with your own switch and your own lights. You just make them connected and then you can control them as you wish. But you can also install them directly the module in the ceiling and control any lights you want. Our lighting relay switch has been on the market for several years now and it is more robust than ever. Indeed, we have taken advantage of developing this new ZB version to have the zero crossing control feature to the module. Without getting too technical, the zero crossing control means that we are able to switch the relay when the IC lane is posed to zero volt. By doing this, we prevent that too much power is going through the relay while it's switching and so we improve its durability over time, even with higher loads. This is particularly interesting for controlling lights, which can have high peak current when turning on. Well, enough of techniques. Let's get back to the demo. Everything is okay? Maybe. So it takes about five minutes to install the module in its box, and then you can put it directly behind a switch if you are one or behind anything else. As soon as the module is wired, we put the power back, and then when the module is turning on, we will, it will automatically look for Zigbee network to join. As I mentioned earlier, we don't develop our own GPU, so we will take advantage of the interoperability and use another ecosystem to control our module. Our lighting module is a perfect match with the view bridge from Signify. You should now be seeing the screen of our smartphone in live, or maybe it will take a few seconds to connect. So here we will open the, the Philips Hue application and we will add the module as if it was any other lights. The pairing will take a few seconds. You might not see it, but there is a small LED on the product to indicate its state. So the LED will change when the module is looking for a network, or if it, the module is uh, joined as um, joined the network. Should be okay. 
So when the module is uh, included, then we can uh, use the application, we can put them into a room and control them together or uh, separately. So I yeah, will do the demonstration. Just a moment. So in your application, you can either decide to uh, put them in the same place and connect them together, or put them in different rooms and connect them separately. And of course, you keep the control of the light with the switch, which is connected to it. We will continue this demo with the multifunction module relay switch. Which is there. This relay switch can control any type of load up to 16 amperes or can be used at the right contact. This means that you can use it for any application and typically you can use it to directly control your play. For this demonstration, we have already installed two modules. One is there and one is behind the switch. This time, we will control the modules directly from Alex. As you might know, some of the Alexa devices are directly built with Zigbee inside which means that we can directly control our modules from Alexa without adding any which. We have already done the setup, so we can directly control the modules. Alexa, turn on the light. Alexa, turn on the fan. Alexa, turn off the light. And on this module, I still have the control of the switch, so I can still use the switch to power it off. The big advantage here is that Alexa is directly using Zigbee, and as it is there, there is not any bridge between, everything is very smooth. If you like controlling your house with your voice, this setup is very simple and very convenient to use. Let's go to our next demo. Our last project is the roller shutter relay switch. Well, as you can imagine, you can simply control any of your electrical roller shutter. The module has an integrated calibration process which is used to know the exact position of the roller shutter. Then we can control the shutter to send it to any position we want. For this last demo, we will be using the solution from other keys. Overkiz is a French company from San Figo who develops ecosystem for smart home and smart movie. They propose a, a gateway in a radian format which can be installed directly inside the electric panel. We also propose an accessory which is a radian and uh, in which you can fit our radian switch. Then you can install it directly inside the panel as well. For this demo, we have done the markup. There. How far it could be uh, in your electrical panel? As you can see, once everything is installed, it gives you a very neat result. The calibration of the roller shutter and the pairing of the module with the gateway are already done. So, we can simply control everything from other keys interface. Aurelia will take access to this interface directly from the computer and send few commands to the modules. So here we can see that we can send it to a specific position as Aurelian just said. Well, this is the demonstration of the three heavy switches that we will release the rest. I think we still have some time together, so let me show you one or two other things we have in the pipe. We are currently working on a brand new module. We are still in prototyping phase, but I'm quite excited to give you um, this demo as a preview show. It's a new lighting module with dimming capabilities, which means that I can also control the intensity of the lights. So let's get back to our pre application to see the buttons. So there, again, turning on uh, of my light and I can also control the intensity.
directly from the application. So this is something that our customer um, require, and um, in addition of the, these dimming capabilities, the other advantage of this uh, this module is that you can power it only from the face. You don't need to connect the nut for the wire. So it is like the other modules, but the face is uh, optional. So the nut is optional. So here we only connected the face. I don't know if you can see well, but. We have one wire for the face and one wire directly connected to the lamp. Then we don't we didn't wire the net, we didn't have the network wire connected. So this is something very interesting for our customers um, when they don't have the network wire behind their switch in their house. And this is something we are bringing along with our Zigbee products. This model will be released in the few months. At the time we finalize the development, so stay tuned and let me know if you would like to give it a try before its official release. One last thing before ending this demonstration. For those of you who know Nodan, you know that we lack interoperability to be compatible with any ecosystem. But you also probably know that there is something even more important for us. It's to be able to remove batteries for any wireless device we use. One of the main reasons we have decided to start working on Zigbee is because of its gain power. The gain power is probably the most important feature for us in Zigbee, since it allows us to use energy harvesting devices. So it allows us to control our module from our energy harvesting switch. Yes, this wireless switch doesn't use any battery. It directly gets the power the energy from pressing the button. The only issue today with Gun Power is that it's not always integrated in the ZP ecosystem. It's why we have decided to integrate it directly in our previous switch. This means that I don't need my gateway anymore. I can use I can use my energy harvesting switch directly connected to my web. So if I unplug the Alexa, I can keep the control of the of my light on my switch. I don't need the gateway anymore. Well, why will it stop me? This switch doesn't use any battery or any external source of power, but it is also 100% made from recyclable plastic. In 2021, we have decided to be more eco-friendly than ever and we will start to use recyclable plastic on our products to limit as much as possible our impact on the environment. And we hope you will follow us on this journey. This concludes our demonstration for today. Thank you all for coming over today. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us, or feel free to contact me later for any further information. We will give you our contact information later on. Thank you very much.